At about seven minutes past one, the firefighters enter the flat. Here you see the first firefighter breaking in the door. The door was closed when they arrived. Now you see the firefighters moving around the entrance hallway as they start to make an entrance into the first bedroom. Here is where the firefighters enter the kitchen for the first time. The yellow glow that you see is the fire that is down at the window end of the kitchen. The firefighters attempt to put water on the fire and you can see there where the hose reel is, um, is spraying water on the fire. They close the door. <coughs> and then they open the door again to see that the fire is still present. At approximately 20 minutes past one, the firefighters enter the kitchen, uh, go right into the kitchen, and they extinguish the fire that was in uh, and around the fridge freezer directly at that point. <clears throat> the final portion of the video that you are seeing um, shows the kitchen once the firefighters have extinguished the fire that was in the kitchen. Some of the items that you can see are recognisable, such as kitchen cupboards, and over to the left-hand side, the washing machine, the countertops of the kitchen. So again, that's the washing machine. And there's the bin beside the washing machine. There's an item on the floor that is hotter than the items around it, which is presumably some fire debris. The camera now swings round and looks out of the window of the flat, and you can see aspects of the cladding that are coming down outside of the window. That's the cooker. The fridge freezer can be seen with the top door um, missing and the bottom door open. That's the toaster, a knife set, some of the materials that were left on the draining rack beside um, the, the sink. These images, from a fire investigation point of view, are very valuable. And they're valuable because they provide factual evidence about the condition and the position of items within the kitchen immediately after the fire was extinguished. <coughs> 